Hey, what's up guys? My name is Randolph. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are opening some hidden fates. And yes, you did hear that correctly. I have sourced, I've got my hands on some more hidden fates Pokemon cards. For those who don't know, hidden fates is the first set that I opened on this channel. It's one of the best sets released in recent history in terms of the hype generated. And it is also the set that birthed the snake backwards meme, AKA the snake backwards legend on this channel. Today, we're gonna be opening three tins of hidden fates. Each tin contains four packs each so 12 packs total in this video and maybe that doesn't sound like a lot but trust me in hidden fates it is a lot best believe and the one card that we still have yet to pull on camera is the shiny charizard itself worth upwards of 350 to 400 pounds so an absolute beast of a card and trust me it's one of the most hype cards in recent memory i do actually own one but i've never pulled one on camera so that's still the goal the goal is still the shiny charizard gx and it's what we're hunting for in this video today so without any further ado let's get these boxes open and the packs inside them taken out and there's my arch nemesis mewtwo for those who are new to the channel mewtwo always bends me over with <laughs> the cards inside and i'm sure he's gonna do the same today if i ever pull the charizard in hidden fate which i will do i mean i won't stop opening these until a they're either out of stock and not even sold anymore or i have pulled the charizard i can see myself pulling the charizard in a mewtwo pack wouldn't that be poetic that would be so funny if it happened and i'll tell you what it's probably gonna it's probably gonna let's just be honest to ourselves so here we go 12 packs of hidden fates cards we're gonna set this charizard right here down there and then we're gonna open that card at the end of the video as is tradition on this channel we're gonna separate hidden fates into character or artwork so we're gonna put the muse together we're gonna put the mewtwo's together Ugh, there's so many mewtwo's we're gonna put you know the charizards together so let's start with you know let's start with the charizards being as we do end on the charizards then let's go into the Mewtwo's. Let's just get him out of the way real quick. Then we'll go into the Mews and then we'll go into the Legendary Bird Trio at the end. So yeah, let's just not waste any time and crack into these packs. And so the first pack is the Charizard pack. Like I said, I've got sleeves next to me and let's do this. It's been a while since I opened Hidden Fates. Oh, and also one more thing, guys, before we do start this video. If you guys can let me know what you think of the camera work in this episode, it will be great. Is the camera above here shaking too much? Is everything looking good? Because usually I film with this camera right here as my card camera and i use the camera right here that you can see as the face cam but i'm swapping it around this time and that is because i use this camera here to record my pokemon sword playthroughs and pretty much every other video and every time i do a card video i have to swap them around you know and it's not that efficient so i'm trying this out if it's good let me know and we will continue doing it the code card is there for you guys we're going to do one two three four i declare a thumb wall yes the rituals for hidden fates are back and the energy card in the first pack is a fighting energy and real quick guys can we see some hashtag first pack look in the comments that is going to help us out today i'm going to zoom in a little bit for these card openings we've got brock puta city gym lieutenant surge's strategy misty's determination coughing clefairy star you jigglypuff Ekans, Snake Backwards, my guy, leave a like on the video right now for him. He is back, he has returned. We are gonna put him to one side. We have a Charmander, Reverse Hollow, and the last card is a Blaine's Last Stand. So, that's okay, first pack, we don't mind. We did get Snake Backwards, that's all we can ask for, really. I mean, truth be told. <laughs> Next up, we have another Charizard pack. Let's get straight into this. Code card for you guys is right there. We're gonna guess the energy this time, and it's gonna be a Water. No, it's fighting again, so that's two in a row. Misty's Determination, Jinx, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Snake Backwards. That's two in a row, my guy. I wonder how long we can keep that streak going. We have a Reverse Hollow Sabrina's Suggestion, and then we have a Starmie GX. And for those who are new to Hidden Fates, I have a bazillion of these. Pretty much in this set, the only cards we're looking for are cards in the Reverse Hollow spot. Which maybe means I should do five from the back. Now, we'll keep the suspense going. It's still nice to see the suspense. We're going to put Starmie right there because that is a significant pull. Along with our two Snake Backwards cards right here. And for those who are wondering why Snake Backwards is so great, then someone in the comments who have been here for the entirety, just let them know. Let them know. Next up, we are on to the Mewtwo packs. And you guys know how I feel about Mewtwo. He's never given me a good card. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's see if we can change that today. The code card is right there. Enjoy yourselves. We're going to go four from the back. We're not going to guess the energy this time, but it is going to be a water. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I would try my luck. We have a fire energy. We have a magma. Charmeleon. Can we get that snake backwards again? We have Jinx. Charmander. 
So Charmander and Charmeleon in the same pack. Could we get a Charizard? Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Reverse Holo Geodude, and we have a Misty's Water Command as the last card. Okay, okay. You know what? I don't usually sleeve these up, but I'm nervous I'm not going to get anything good today. So I'm going to put that right there as a pull, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video the entirety of our pulls. Next up, we've got another Mewtwo pack. Now, you might as well skip these next few packs, you know, only the next couple packs, because we all know Mewtwo is very tight in the cards that he gives you. But I always feel like saying that, I always feel like confronting him means that he will give us something good, you know, you never know. Okay, fire energy again. So we've had two fighting energies in a row and then two fire energies in a row. Very interesting. We have Magmar again. We've got a Scyther energy. Let's go. Leave a like on the video there as well. Scyther is another legend on this channel. For those who don't know, someone in the comments will explain to you why Scyther energy is so good. Hopefully, if you guys are OGs, I'm sure there are a lot of OGs on here right now. Uh, we have a Pikachu. A Voltorb, Clefable is a reverse holo, so still nothing significant in the shiny vault part of this set. And the last card is a Weezing, so again, nothing too crazy right there. I'm telling you, man, it's the Mewtwo. This pack right here, shiny vault, shiny GX, Charizard. Let's go. All right, Mewtwo, the last pack of Mewtwo, and I'm very, very, very excited to get him out of the way because he is just pure trash, pure, absolute liquid trash <laughs> okay let's get the energy we're gonna go with a psychic oh my life i banged that i've absolutely banged that guys oh let's go this is the pack this is the pack right here ladies and gentlemen giovanni's exile lieutenant surge strategy koga's trap geodude pikachu clefairy cubone jigglypuff we have a reverse holo jigglypuff and we have a golem as the last card so what did I expect? I can't believe I actually let Mewtwo suck me in to his, what do you call it? His wicked ways. The only thing about this camera is that I can't zoom in quick or as quick with this one. If you want to see how quick I can zoom in right now, look at this. This is me zooming in at full, full, uh, <laughs> full swing. That's why my other camera is, to be fair, my other camera is better being here, but it's like, I don't want to keep changing it all the time, you know, it makes the videos uh, slower to film. So hopefully this will work and hopefully it's looking good. Like I said in the comments, let me know what you guys think of the setup today. Next up, we have a Dark Energy. Okay, okay. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, <laughs> Pikachu, <laughs> Magikarp, we have a Reverse Holo Psyduck. What is going on with these packs? And a Erica's Hospitality at the back. So again, what is going on, man? I haven't pulled a single card in this episode that I don't already have. We're not even getting any shiny holo cards. We're getting nothing, mate. Absolutely nothing. Okay, the code card right there. We are going to guess the energy this time because we are broke and we need something. We need some type of look. Four cards there. I'm going to go with Water. Psychic again, I should have held my faith. I should have stuck my ground. Jinx, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing. I hate you, Coughing. You've ruined any chances of Ekans being in the Pokemon Sword and Shield game. <sighs> Why couldn't we get a Galarian Ekans, man? That would have been so sick. Next up, we've already seen that we've got a reversal of Magikarp. And the last card is an Arbok, which is Cobra backwards. We do know that. But for some reason, it doesn't have the same hype as Ekans, you know what I'm saying? Ekans is our guy, Cobra is just like our uncle that kind of drinks a lot and we don't really like him, you know what I'm saying? Like when he comes around, we go upstairs and we lock ourselves in our room. That type of guy. That, that sounded weird, that sounded weird, it's not meant to be weird. There's nothing odd with that uncle, it's just, you know. Alright, move on Randolph, move on. We've got another Mew pack here before we got into the Legendary Bird packs. And to be fair, if I am honest with myself and with you guys, I believe that the Legendary Bird trios have always given us the best pulls in these uh, tins. But honestly, we should be expecting something better really. So, unless it's going to come towards the end, I'm pretty sure it might come towards the end. Oh, the cards are upside down, so we are going to guess the energy right here. That is tradition, for sure. It's going to be a Grass energy. It's not though, is it? It's just not. We have a Dark energy right now. We have a Jinx. We have a Graveler, Farfetch'd, aka Surfetch'd, we have a Jigglypuff, we have a Kofung, Staryu, Ekans, Snake Backwards, this is the pack ladies and gentlemen, this is the pack, trust me when I say that, let's get some, let's get some prayer signs in the comments right now for what we're about to see, I'm pretty sure it's going to be great, let's hold on, let's hold on, what could it be, we have a, oh my life, let's go ladies and gentlemen, we have a shiny, full art, Articuno GX, 
and I knew that Ekans was going to deliver. I absolutely knew he was going to deliver, and he did. The last card is a Hollow Eevee, so we will sleeve that up as well. But right here in all of its glory is the Articuno GX. Now, I have pulled one of these on the channel before. You guys have seen that. But it's always great to get another one. Shiny Articuno, one of the most iconic Pokemon in the entire franchise. And also the card games as well. Back in the day, having a Shiny Articuno would have been cool. Shout out to my cousin Jess. She always claimed she had a Shiny Well, not claims. She always said she uh, had a, you know, a Shiny Articuno and she loved it. Good centering as well. This could get a 10 as well. I could definitely send this off soon. So we'll put that right there because that is the best card so far that we've pulled. We'll sleeve up the Eevee anyway just to give us something else to shout about. And that's going to go right there. And we are down to our last three packs before we get into the Charizard. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure that it is going to start ramping up right now. We are going to start getting better and better cards as the video goes on. So let me see those prayer emojis, those prayer signs in the chat. Let me see. Just some look. All right, give me some look. Legendary Bird Trios always give the best cards. Always. So we're in for a treat right here. We have a Steel Energy card there, or a Metal. I always pronounce that wrong. We have a Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Misty Cerulean Gym, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee. We have a Ekans, Snake Backwards, and we already know this card's going to be sick, or this pack's going to be sick, and we have a... Ooh! We got a Hollow Oranguru, and this is actually the first time... Sorry, we got a Shiny Hollow Oranguru, and this is actually the first time I've ever, ever pulled this card. I do own it, and that's because Laura wanted me to buy it on eBay. She saw she saw a listing on eBay that looked in good condition, so we did buy that. But this is the first time I've pulled it. Perfect centering, I really like that. And the last card is a off-centered Onyx GX, which is not... You know, I'll take it right now, because we are on such a dry dry spell but it's not something it's not crazy you know it's not crazy at all so we will put that behind Starmie and the Articuno there like that uh, and we are going to put the Oranguru in a sleeve as well of course because this is a great pull don't get me wrong I might not sound too gassed but I'm very gassed with this card right here whenever you get a shiny vault card and you can see in the corner for those new people here shiny vault is a SV card, you can see SV right there out of 94, if the camera's going to zoom in and focus that. That means it's a shiny vault set, whereas if you see my friend Scyther over here, he has just got a uh, 6 out of 68. So 68 is the main set of Hidden Fates, and then this card right here is the shiny vault set, so SV. Uh, so we are going to put that, we're going to put that with Scyther, you know, he's going to keep Scyther company right there. Um, and we're going to continue with our packs. But I told you guys, I told you guys the Legendary Bird Trio are the best trio around in terms of pack artwork on the front. They always give us the good stuff. Can they give us a Charizard, man? It's still possible to get it in this box opening, for sure. Like, we definitely can get another Full Art GX card. And it definitely could be a Charizard easily. So, if it is, I'm going to wake up Laura. I'm currently filming this video at 4.51am. Uh, I'm going back to LA again for some music related stuff. So I do have to get ahead and film some more videos before I go away because we do post every single day on this channel as you guys know. And actually right now we're probably posting two videos a day because of uh, my Pokemon Sword playthrough which will be out some point around this video being out, maybe a few hours after, maybe a few hours before. We have Snake Backwards, Ekans right there, the alternate artwork, so we are going to put that on top. We do still love that card but we prefer this one. In fact, this was the first ever Snake Backwards. When I first said Snake Backwards, it was that card, so to be fair, we should put some more respect on its name. We got a Paris, we have a Charmander, and we have a Reverse Hollow Magmar and a Jesse and James Hollow card, which we will take. But, you know, I've got plenty of those. I have so many, but it is going to go up there, and we're going to put... Wait, what have I done? I've put Ekans in my common pile. How dare I? How dare I? All right, okay, guys, it's the second to last pack. Let me know in the comments which pack the Charizard is going to be in. I'm not, it's not, it might not be in either, but I'm going to say it's definitely going to be in one of these two. So is it in A or is it in pack B? I'm going to say it's in pack B. I'm going to say it's in Charizard himself, which sounds weird because it means he's inside himself. You know, we'll move on. We'll move on. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? I told you the birds always have some good stuff in their cards. They've given us one Oranguru shiny card so far, which means, you know, they are, they are due something extra. In the last pack, we got nothing apart from Justin and James. We have Giovanni's Exile. We have Metapod, Koga's Trap, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone. We have a Reverse Holo Clefairy. And then we have a Bill's Analysis at the end, which actually is worth a bob or two, but it's not the Charizard and it's nothing really to shout about. So, ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this last pack in my hand right now. 
the shiny Charizard himself on the front of the pack. Look at that. Black Charizard, amazing. And will this have, at least, will this have a, a hollow shiny card? Please, please at least give us a hollow shiny card. That's all we're asking for, you know? Minimum, but we'll take anything. We'll take anything you got, you give us, as long as it's not a reverse hollow, okay? So come on, last pack look, guys. Put some prayer signs in the comments. It always works. I'm telling you, with Pokemon cards, with catching on Pokemon Sword, it always works. Trust me, we have a Leaf Energy. Congratulations to anyone who guessed that. I didn't, because I feel like it's unlucky for me, to be honest. <laughs> we have a Farfetch'd. Come on. Misty's Determination. Come on, Clefairy, Caterpie, prayer signs, pause the video, put the prayer signs in right now. I know that you haven't, I know you haven't. Ekins, Snake Backwards, the original artwork, let's go. Paris. Come on guys, Charmander, could it be? We are on the next card, the next card could be it. We have a, ooh, okay, okay. So we don't have a full art shiny card and we don't have the Charizard, but we do have Magnemite, <laughs> and I know you guys hate it when I say that. I do know it's pronounced Magnemite. Being as he is a shiny card, I will give him some credit. And the very last card is a Electrode as the rare card. So the Charizard runs away from us yet again. Another day we are away from our elusive Charizard Shiny GX on the channel. <sighs> it's okay though, we'll march on. We have, I've got six more boxes by the way. I bought nine boxes in total, I opened three today. I've got two more videos I'm gonna do because I always open three tins in each video. So I have the Gyarados tins left and I have the Charizard tins left. So will he be in those Charizard tins? To find out, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna collect the cards that we've pulled right here and we're gonna look at those together. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for sticking with me throughout this video. If you are still here, please let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate that. And the cards we have pulled in this video are one Scyther Energy, two Ekans, Snake Backwards, alternate artworks, the Granddaddy, Snake Backwards, Ekans, and Articuno himself, four of those. We have Jesse and James Hollow. We have an Eevee Hollow, Misty's Water Command Hollow. We have a Stormy GX, which is Aight. Aight. We have a Onyx GX, which is Okay, we have an Oranguru GX, which is amazing. That's the first time I pulled that card on this channel, and this will be in my collection, sending off to PSA. If you guys want PSA graded cards yourself, or you want to grade your own cards, then hit the link in the description, go and check out Graded Gem. They're a partner of ours on this channel. They are who I send my cards with. I trust them with my cards. So I highly recommend you check those out. We have also a hollow shiny Magnemite, which is very, very good. And last but not least, the best pull in this video by far, by a mile, is the shiny Articuno GX, which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Leave a like on this video purely for this card right here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for me today on this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, comment down below what your favorite card was. Was it the shiny Articuno or was it Snake Backwards, my guy? Ekin Snake Backwards merch coming soon on my store that is right around the corner. Laura's working hard on it right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. My name is Randolph and peace. Thank you so much. I love you guys.